she said. Give it up for my band, y'all. That's a good band you got there, uh, Kelly. Is, they're an amazing band. They can play literally any genre you ask, um, and so can you. Um, so give it up for Dolly Parton, y'all, the one and only. Give it up for Thank you for singing that with me. Well, I've been so looking forward to doing the show and just singing with you, period, uh, is just a very exciting thing. So thank you for doing that Absolutely, with me. yeah, we got to do the reimagined version of 9 to 5, but we haven't done it live yet, so we got to mix it in there a little bit. So I was oh, very excited. Oh, I know, we did that for a documentary called yeah. Still Working 9 to 5. Yeah. So there's a show so version, so maybe sometime you'll get a chance to hear that. We yeah. can do it all one Still day. Still relevant, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, is it true that you invited women um, at your record label to be in the video? I thought that was so cool. I did, when I did 9 to 5, back. 40, what, two years ago or so? Uh, I just watched it on the, on the set and I, I played my, She's my nails. I, 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 I can't. Your, Look, well, these are single mama nails. I know. Well, these are acrylic. These are these are gross. You got to have falses. <laughs> yeah. I know what you mean. <laughs> anyway, I was playing my acrylic nails and I watched all the things going on on the set, and so I would just watch all the girls doing whatever they did, and it was about working women. Yeah. So when I wrote the song, got ready to record it, I thought, how cool would it be to invite all the women yeah. that worked in the offices and all the people on the set and all the girls. You keep it real. Show. Yeah, so they all sang on it, and it's they got credit. I, I got credit that. for playing nails. <laughs> I did. I love that. I love it. All right. So, Do oh, thank you so much, Justin. Oh, yeah, Give that. it up for Justin. <laughs> Dolly is so special to me, y'all, and she's special to the entire show. Um, and I apologize that you're standing here for this because it's probably awkward for you, but I'm gonna embarrass you just for a minute, or just float your boat. Um, so this <laughs> isn't the first time that I've sung Nine to Five on this stage. Uh, in fact, that song was my very first Kelly Yoki on this show, like, oh, for this I whole didn't know show. That. Yeah, season one, well, it was our I'm very first one. Yeah, and like you, you said you had real like workers in the video, so did we. We had real police women, we had real firewomen. Oh had, like, yeah, yeah, I see them was, there. Oh, look at it that. It was really yeah. cool. And, and I'm so excited though to, to just um, sing that with you and also just to have you here. We're super honored. Well, I have always thought we'd do a great show together and I, yes. I think we're going yes. to. Because well, I just relate to you so much. Oh, I just think yeah. you're so real and so fun and everybody just loves you. That's what I think about you. Well, then that's why we're going to have that's a good right. show. Okay. <laughs> well, we are blessed to have Dolly for the whole hour, everybody. She is a legend. Collections out now. One is called the Holly Dolly Christmas Ultimate Deluxe Edition. My God, you smell so good. Um, the other, I'm just taking it in. Um, the other is Diamonds and Rhinestones, the greatest hits collection. Both are available wherever you get your music. You'll gotta get them. Uh, but Dolly is a worldwide inspiration for her work as a humanitarian as well. That's why she's even cooler. She just didn't stop there with music. Nope. Um, that's why we're introducing a new theme that's brand new for our show, and it celebrates the people behind the art that they create. So it starts with Dolly, and it's called More than music. More than music. Yes. Okay. Oh, and I got my own cup. You have your own cup. I always love I know. It I have. Oh, and I have this. Okay. And I've got so many things over here. I'm going to talk about. Well, wait. I have to say, congrats. You were just inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. I know. I want to see it. Can I see I it? Know. I brought this for the show. Wow. This is my rock and roll, and I just want to share this with you until you get your own, and you will oh, one I day. Oh, I will not, but yes, I Yes, you. you will. You will, you will. You are so, I think you have to, well, it's funny. I was literally talking to um, my producer this morning, and I was like, we throw around the word icon a lot. Like, I feel like everybody's an icon now. Like, you know, everybody's like, oh, she's an icon. And I'm like, no, you have to earn that. And you actually earned that. And it's like, you, that's why I loved your response. I loved your response because you were like, well, wait, what? Rock and roll, like I'm country music, but you are rock and roll. The fact that you're a pioneer for women, you've opened the doors for so many of us to be able to be vulnerable as songwriters. But I don't know, does it make, does it weird you out to be labeled an icon? Does it? Is uh, well, it I always think of myself more as an eyesore than an <laughs> icon. <laughs> well, I wish. But I actually, <laughs> but you know, I, I, I used to think when I was young, if I made it like I'd hoped I would, yeah. how people would remember me when I was older. Now I'm older, and it's really nice uh, to look back and think that you know I, I might have done something that's helped inspire oh my gosh, some, so many you know, some other people. And when I got into the Rock and Roll uh, Hall of Fame, or when they talked about that, I didn't realize that it was it was more than just that. To me, I always thought about the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame being for people to spend their life in rock music, yeah. like country music. I and mean, you don't see Led Zeppelin in the Country Music Hall of Fame. Or, yeah. You know, so I when they first said that, I thought, well, you know, 
I don't know that I belong there, and I didn't want to take votes from other people that had spent their life, and Which that's kind of so how it felt. Dolly. But I, well, Who I says just, that? But still, I honestly thought that. But then later I saw that it was for people also that have you know, influenced other people. And, and I did say I would accept it gracefully and humbly, and yeah. I did, and I was very honored. But um, but you did something even cooler. You actually wrote like a rock and roll song. I did. I yeah. wrote a song for the show about my whole experience about that. It's called, I've been, it's called Rocking It. It's, I've been rocking it. I grew up loving Elvis and, yeah. and Wild Man Jerry Lee, Chuck Berry, Little Richard. Richard yeah. They all had a cast a spell on me, yeah. and uh, Carl Perkins and them blue suede shoes had no place on the farm, but there's better than them brogans I was wearing around the barn. <laughs> so I've been rocking, rocking, rocking since the day I was born. I'll be rocking till the day I'm gone. Cause I got rock and roll down in my country soul, and I'll be rocking it till the cows come home. I so love <laughs> That's so perfect. So, yeah, well, I'll, I'll go ahead and I'll talk about the whole thing, how, you know, how they, you know, they put me in the Hall of Fame, so I guess it ain't no shame was that I, you know, but since I heard the big news, I ain't never been the same, because they done gone and put me in the rock and roll <laughs> Hall of Fame. It's the dangerous thing. But I was honored, I and I'm proud, that. so. Anyway. And it's so cool, though, how you do. You, you're so respectful of other artists and all their hard work, but at the same time, you're like, because you're doing an album now, like I'm a rock album. A rock album. Which I'm, I'm calling it totally Rock Star. Star. I'm calling it Rock Star. I love That's it. It's fun, tongue in cheek, but I'm yeah. actually, I'm doing uh, classic songs, and I'm using a lot of the classic artists, too, to sing on some of the songs with me. So, wow. So I'm looking forward to that. So that's going to come out next year. Go, tell it, tell it. 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 Go, tell it on the mountain. Over the hills and everywhere Go tell it on the mountain That Jesus Christ is born Oh, go tell it on the mountain Over the hills and everywhere Welcome back, everybody. I am the luckiest person on planet Earth because I am hanging out with Dolly Parton. <laughs> Dolly Parton's Mountain Magic Christmas. It premieres today on NBC. Um, in this new movie, Mountain Magic Christmas, you're playing yourself. Um, I want to ask if you're able to have fun with it because you are playing yourself, but also I have to say, you and Willie sound so good together. Oh, we did. You yeah. and Willie Nelson, I was like, this is what, if anybody wondered what Mountain Magic was, it was what just occurred. <laughs> it was like, it was so yeah. good. Willie really was on the show and we did Pretty Paper, a song he wrote yeah. years ago, that pretty paper, pretty ribbons of blue. And we just had the sweetest time. I've known him oh. since we were both young yeah. in Nashville. And so having Willie always through my life and I thought I can't do this show without Willie. Yeah. So we did that wonderful song that I'd also recorded in that Christmas, in my Christmas album of Holly Dolly Christmas, but yeah. yeah, we had you know we had Jimmy Fallon on the show. I know Miley Cyrus. Yeah. we had uh, Billy Ray also, yeah. and we had uh, Zach, uh, Zach Williams mm -hmm. that we did the. So we had a lot of wonderful, wonderful artists on the show as well. It's so fun with shows like that because you get and, to be and more Jimmy free. Allen as well. Yeah, yeah and you Allen get, you and get to oh Jimmy, yeah. yeah, but you you get to I love Christmas albums and doing anything Christmas because I feel like it's open game and you can have other influences too. Like, yeah. you know, you just have a different experience and it's like a more open vibe. People aren't expecting one thing. It's Christmas. So like yeah. everyone's welcome. But this is a two hour, they call it a movie, but actually I was, like you said, playing myself, but I thought it would be a great idea to show how, what it takes to actually do a show. So it's really the making of a show, all the trouble you have, all the fights you have to have behind the scenes, all the stuff you don't want. Yeah. And so getting to play Which myself, real. it is real. Yeah. <laughs> and so we got, I got a chance to do some comedy and do you know, some things kind of acting, but yeah. still it's real, it's stuff that really goes on. When yeah. you were talking earlier, when you said, you know, I always seem so nice all the time. I know, I'm like, do you ever have a just Day. Well, yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> I just, nobody, I don't even think I can say that on here, whatever, they'll bleep it. But I'm just like. Well, they'll bleep you out. It is yeah, yeah, I know, but I'm just like, I'm just like, I literally was talking to her and I was like, do you ever have a bad day? Does people not catch it? Like, I'm like, because everyone loves you. Oh, you're everybody so has a bad day. But it's like when you're in business, you know that, when you're trying to do a show, put on a show. And that's why we thought it would be a, a clever idea to let people see what really goes on, because you got to cuss people out. You're not going to take this, you're not going to take that. Yeah. You know, you got to do this. I want to see no. if I 
asked you, Dolly, so badly. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? I try to always keep a good attitude. Yeah. But, you know, I'm, I'm one of those people, though, I've often said, I can tell you where to put it if I don't like where you got it. <laughs> so let's just leave that's it That's just at being that. helpful. Yeah. yeah, that's just being helpful. That's all I heard.